Anthony Hartwig here with a very excited, very happy episode nine. I had to do the math. Nine of Coach's Corner with Jeff Fischel in the Lady Reader basketball program. Jeff, thanks so much for joining us today. Yeah, very happy to be here. I don't know why my screen is green, but uh, <clears throat> nonetheless, uh, obviously very excited that we get to uh, interview number nine uh, and we're able to practice in March. Really cool. You get a couple more practices. You actually have one more practice than your opponent will. What, uh, what, what are these three kind of practices like, and what's it feel like getting back to where you were last year? Well, we made a decision. Uh, we were pretty beat up after the um, Warrensville Heights game. So the coaching staff went up to watch the game last night. We gave the girls off and just told them, you know, rest up and, and get the game online and watch it and learn a little bit. So, um I think it's a good idea, and I think the girls enjoyed it. When we told them after the game that we were going to give them the night off, they, they went more crazy when we told them that than after we won the game. So they were excited to have a night off and take care of the bodies and rest up. And then we came out tonight and I thought had one of probably the most enjoyable practices we've had all season. So very happy about that. And have another one tomorrow night. We'll have to uh, get after it and be focused and ready to go. Let's talk about this regional semifinal game. Man, what were the what were the emotions like when you guys first got into that gym and the the atmosphere kind of kicked in and the realization that you were there kind of kicked in? I know you guys got there about forty minutes early, so you could warm up, get accustomed to the floor. What was that whole process like? Major advantage for us being there last year, and not only being there but winning a game there last year, and so we didn't have to do the looking around in awe thing. We were kind of able to do that in a way that we could enjoy it and soak it in. And, you know, we just, we, we had a routine because we had been there before and we can kind of try to keep things as, as similar as possible from game to game, regardless of the location. And you know, we talk when that clock's going from 30 to 20 and we come out, you know, 20 or a little under that and start a warm up and go from there. And, and that's what we were able to do. And, it was, uh, it was really cool to be there and a fun experience. Now, what? Uh, let's talk about the game. You guys started off really quick, 19-9 to 9 in the first quarter. You were up by 10. What do you attribute that such a quick start to and what, what really worked in that first quarter? Well, we've been a fast starting team all year. So, you know, we won the jump and we were able to get down and get a layup early. And, you know, when we score, that lets us set up our defense. And when we set up our defense, we're a better basketball team. And that happened early and gave us some momentum. And, you know, give Warrensville Heights credit. That's a feisty and athletic team. And, and, you know, I know you and Ronnie talked about uh, Coach Bryant's past few months and what he's been through and what they've been through as a program. And that team kind of takes off, takes on his perseverance and his attitude in life. And that's why they were so successful. And they made a run. And, and you know, that was a fun back-and-forth basketball game. That was a really good basketball game. Well, we all knew that Warrensville Heights would make a run. They did that. They uh, took a lead early in the third quarter. And then one of your leaders stepped up. Lexi Giles hit back-to-back threes to kind of right the ship and take momentum away and, and really get you guys back on track. How big were those shots in, in the timing that she hit them? We've been waiting for that. You know, Lex has been cold lately. And, uh, you know, we, we keep telling her shoot through it. And, you know, she's been shooting well in practice. And then they don't fall in the game. And we want her to keep shooting. She's our shooter. That's her role. And we know she can make them. And when we got in that situation where they took a three-point lead there early in the second quarter and you know, we had to race the 12-point lead. So they outscored us by 15 over that stretch. And things weren't looking good at that point. And I, I knew we had to battle and we had to figure something out. And Bree made a heck of a play, drove, made a layup. And then Lexi hit those back-to-back threes that – we've been waiting for and she's capable of that and they were huge and you know that that 8-0 run kind of made the difference I don't think we trailed again after that yeah and it was a close game close game and you guys really closed it out in the fourth quarter just as we break down this game talk about how proud you were of the girls for closing that game out and making sure that Warrensville Heights didn't make another run down there down the stretch we really haven't been in very many close games at the end you know, the, the games we've won, we've kind of won handily. And, and even then the games we've lost have been, you know, not situations where in the last minute where somebody can make a play and, and change the outcome of the game. We haven't saw that very much. And so for us to be up three under a minute in a game like that, 
I was really proud of how we handled a team that pressures the way they pressure, that we were able to run the clock and make them foul us. And we haven't shot foul shots very well lately either. And we hit a couple big ones down the stretch to put that thing on ice. So those are situations that we have not been in. And for our girls to, on that stage, be in that and execute that way uh, is a testament to their character and how hard they work. Last year when you guys beat champion, there was almost no celebration. It was business as usual. Girls walked off the court looking like they knew they still had more to do. Was it the same feeling to uh, last night? When, well, I should say two nights ago when you guys won, and it was pretty much just, hey, we, we did it. We're happy that we did it, but we still got work to do. Yeah, and they were excited, and there was a, a big team hug at half court after the game, and then they got a little bit happy in the, in the locker room afterwards. It was Izzy's birthday, so they got to sing happy birthday after the game, and, and so that's always a fun thing. And, you know, I told these girls, this is special. This is something that, you know, only eight teams in the state of Ohio in Division Three get to do, and they need to enjoy that. But, you know, the look on their face is that they know that we're, we're going on a business trip on Saturday, and we don't want this thing to be done. This, this is unfinished business, and we're going to try to do everything we can to make sure that we go further than we did last year. You talked a little bit to you know, everyone, everyone that's been listening to Running Point and, and my broadcast knows what their coach Bryant went through and what the program's kind of been through. When you look at a program like that, just getting to compete against a program like that and getting to kind of see what they're about, what does that do for you as a head coach? And, and, and how cool was it to kind of compete with a program that, that is so respectable and, and doing some great things the right way? Yeah, Coach Bryant was one of the coolest dudes I've talked to in a long time. You know, I talked to him for a while before the game. We talked for a while after the game, and that's, that's just a good dude right there. But, um, you know, I look, I look at their team and, and how well they played and how respectful their girls were, you know, and the compliments that we got from them and their fans after the game. And it really puts things in perspective because, you know, a, a lot of those girls uh, – they don't have the home life that the girls on our team are blessed to have. And so for, for them to persevere through that, and you want to talk, talk about adversity, and I know we've had our share, and I'm not underplaying that. We've had our serious injuries. But you know, th those girls have had to battle through some things off the basketball court in their lives that we know uh, nothing about. And so for them, for them to fight through that and, and to persevere through that, is an inspiration and I'm going to stay in touch with coach Bryant and uh, I'm going to be rooting for those girls. And, you know, I know a couple of them are going to go on and play in college. I'm going to follow their careers because uh, I became a big fan of theirs the other night. I was making the joke before the game, you know, in the, in the days leading up to it, that it kind of felt like you guys were the other team in a Disney movie that, that had to go up against the inspirational, uh, you know, story that, that was, uh, going up so you guys had to kind of put on the black hats a little bit and uh, take care of business when i heard his interview sunday night and you know had found out about everything that happened to him <laughs> i just got to put my hands like oh my gosh we got to go be the bad guys now and uh i don't know it is what it is but um you know they've got a lot to be proud of and you know he, he said to me after the game anybody who beats us has got to keep moving on so uh, I know they'll be rooting for us Saturday. And like I said, I'm going to make sure I keep in touch with him and, and you know, make sure that he's doing good. All right, let's talk about this matchup on Saturday. You guys, it was Wayne Dale. They beat Garfield the night after you guys. And they did it pretty decisively. They shot really well from three-point land. What did you see when you went down and watched Wayne Dale? And I'm sure you had other games on film. Uh, what kind of problems do they present? And uh, what do you expect from that matchup on Saturday? I think this camera is on night vision. I think that's why it's green, but I don't know how to turn it off of that. It's dark in here. I think that's why that just hit me. Um, Wayne Dale is really good. They're, they're probably the most organized offense that we've played this year. And they shoot the ball really well. They attack really well. They know their roles. They understand the offense. They understand their counters. They're really versed in it. They really understand it. They execute it well. They finish well. They shoot well. They pass well. They cut well. They dribble the ball well. They're really good. And they'll get after you on defense. And I look, I look at their team, and I see a lot of our team and them. I, th I think we're sort of pretty similar teams. Um, 
I'm, I'm expecting a very fun back and forth battle. I, I think we've got to do a lot of things well, and we've got to make sure that we play defense. You know, they average uh, 20 or 22 points in the first quarter this year. And so that's, that's a lot. And obviously our goal is to not let teams score more than 40 in a game. So they're, they're getting half of that in a quarter. Our, our backs are up against the wall with the challenge that we have, the way they score. And we're going to have to make sure that we defend really well, close out really well with that. And we can't help off their shooters very far because uh, you give them an inch and they're going to take a shot and it's going to go in. They're, they're really good shooters and they're, they're really good passers too. They get the ball to the shooters in a timely fashion and in the right spot. And so that helps them shoot as well as they do. So we're not going to be able to help in the gaps as much as we'd like to. And we're going to have to make some adjustments to what we usually do to take away their strengths. And Saturday is going to be a tough battle. I tell you what, whoever, whoever makes it uh, to Dayton out of this game is going to earn it. And uh, it might be a little bit of a different defensive mindset than your last game because I, I noticed against Warrensville Heights, they wanted to drive. I mean, they could shoot, but their drivers were going right by you. You kind of sat back a little bit and let them come to you and then let the pressure – at that point, really can't sit back against this team. They'll just pull up and, and, and hit threes on you all day. So I imagine you're excited for the new challenge on defense. I know how much you love defense. We had a whole episode almost completely talking about your defense. Um, what kind of things do you think uh, your defense can do really well against this team? Well, it, it's going to be an exciting challenge. And, yeah, it, it is almost the opposite of Warrensville Heights. Um, we, we'd rather them drive it than shoot it. Now you pick your poison because they can drive it well and they're good passers even to the post and they can finish well. So, you know, by letting them do that, uh, you know, that, that, that could still hurt us, but the, the challenge is going to be that, you know, we like to be in, in what we call the gaps on defense and our positioning is our help. It kind of takes away the, the dribble drive. And this is a team that will, hit the open girl outside the arc for an open shot, especially if you help too far away and, and leave her real open, they'll throw a perfect pass and hit that thing. So we're going to have to hug their shooters a little bit more. And that means we're going to have to keep the ball in front of us really well. And then we're going to have to have uh, weak side help really be in position uh, more than usual because, uh, you know, that's not usually where we bring our help from, but we're going to make that change and, and we're going to see how it goes. Obviously, the winner on Saturday gets a trip to Dayton. Um, what would that mean to this program? I know it's been a goal. Like, they haven't hide, they haven't hide it. They haven't hit it, I should say. It's been a clear-cut goal for this team all year that we want to go to state. What would that mean for this team to get that win on Saturday and, and pack your bags and, and take the trip to Dayton? It's, it's hard to put it into words. I think yeah, any time that you, you coach in a season and – I don't know what the actual answer would be if you asked 10 or 15 or 20 coaches. You know, my guess would be that if you said, what, what's your ultimate goal? If, if one time in your coaching career you could do this as far as a season, I don't know if the answer would be win a state championship or I think the more popular answer would just very simply be go to state. You know, go to, go to state seems like a, a – big deal to people that just want to say, hey, we did it one time. We got there one time. And, you know, obviously I think you ask coaches that have been there once or multiple times and their, their answer is going to much more likely be win it all or, or whatever. But, you know, when you go down to state and you buy a program, they, they put uh, every school that's ever been in there in the program. And so, you know, if, if we're fortunate enough to get there, every year from now on for all of time, when anybody buys a program, that sucker's going to say South Range in it, you know, 2021 state, partic state participant. And that's something that, you know, because we've never done it here and because of how hard we've worked and what we've been through that, like I said, I don't, I don't think that's something we can put into words, but it'd obviously be something that, you know, we're talking about years down the road and then we're telling stories about and, It'll be an experience that these girls never forget and will obviously cherish. And it'll be the, because they do it for each other because of how much they care for each other. And, you know, they'll be able to celebrate it together.
when you think about last year and you got to this point and you were a couple of plays away from winning that game, I mean, it was a close game against Illyria Catholic. A couple of things go your way. You could have walked away with it. You're back here again this year. This is what it takes to build a program. They keep getting to this step, keep taking the next steps and keep telling, keep showing your kids this is the standard. I imagine that, that this is, no matter what, how this game goes on Saturday, getting back to this point is good for your program going forward. Yeah, and we have some great excitement in our youth program. And, and you know, we were able to buy some tickets through the state well, with some of our team money um, for our youth program to come to our uh, district semifinal and district championship game. So we had girls uh, from our fourth grade program through our eighth grade program packed our student section uh, for our district championship game. And they had the burgundy rally towels waving it up there. And that was awesome for our that many girls, 35, 40 girls in our youth program to be able to see that and witness that and be a part of that and have so much fun doing it. Because, you know, I heard from some parents, you know, this week after the game about how much fun their daughter had and how they hope that that can be them one day. And that's really, a, a, like you said, a big boost for the program. And it just puts the program in, in good hands going forward as far as the excitement that the girls have. When uh, you think about Saturday, I mean, we talked to Steve Miller on the running point today, and he talked about how his stomach has been in knots ever since they won the district uh, championship for his game tonight against McDonald. Is it kind of feeling the same way for you after you won on Tuesday that you just want this game on Saturday to get started? That way this kind of anxiousness goes away? I don't remember last year if I was really nervous or not. I remember I felt good about our chances against Elyria Catholic. And I remember thinking at practice last year how cool it was that we got to run a practice to play in the game that would take you to state. And, you know, nobody had ever done it at South Range. There's not a lot of teams, obviously only eight every year that get to do that. And that it was not guaranteed last year that I'd ever be in that position again. And, you know, when we lost to O'Leary Catholic and everybody knew that we had everybody back, when we were walking out of that gym, half a dozen people said, this is going to be you next year. This is going to be you next year. And so the pressure kind of got put on us that that was the expectation it was kind of like, if you guys don't make it to Dayton, the season's going to be a disappointment. And we didn't let that message get to our girls because whether we lose Saturday or we win Saturday, that doesn't change all the special moments that we've had from the summer until now. You know, the end of the season, one, one or two games further or shorter, isn't going to tell us how much fun we had and how special it was. And so I told myself, that I was going to enjoy this and I wasn't going to be nervous and I wasn't going to make myself stick over it because this is a special thing that doesn't happen very often and not a lot of people get to experience it. And I don't want to ruin it for myself or anybody around me by, by just making myself like a miserable butterflies, can't think or eat or anything like that. So today I had a good day at work, um, got to watch some film and we had a great practice tonight. And like I said, it was probably one of the most enjoyable practices we've had all year. The girls were loose in a great mood and they work really hard and I'm going to sleep good tonight and we're going to do the same thing tomorrow. And then we're going to enjoy Saturday and win or lose. It's going to be a special experience. And, you know, obviously we find a way to make a couple plays and come out on top and, and we'll make history. I like that coach. Let the fans be nervous. You can, you, you can be ready. I like that. Yeah, I, I was nervous earlier in the tournament than I than I am now, honestly. I mean, this this is fun. We're we're one of the final eight teams, and you know that's cool. And so, nothing to be ashamed of, no matter what happens. And it's kind of like uh, we're playing with house money here, and we're gonna go give it heck and have some fun. You've been through a lot this season, a lot of adversity. And a lot of teams might have just said, you know, I, I guess we can forget about that goal. I guess we can, we can uh, only win districts, and that would be an accomplishment after all we've been through. This team never bought into that. They just they kept the, the idea that they wanted to get to the regional finals. They wanted to play for a chance to go to state. How proud are you that they persevered through all the adversity and they kept the fight up and, and they got back to this point like they wanted to in the beginning of the season? Every day of this season has been a day-by-day -day battle of not knowing what to expect, not knowing what's next. And a lot of teams dealt with that. You know, every team dealt with that with, with COVID. 
And I know some teams have had some injuries and it's been a tough year for more teams than us. But when you take into account the injuries we had and the COVID situations that we had, it, it's certainly just been a daily grind. And there's, there's early in the year and even, you know, t up till now, even still recently, anytime the phone rings, you're like, what's this phone call going to be? What bad news am I getting? Are we quarantined? Did somebody, you know, did something happen? And, and that was really, um, you know, stressful is probably a good word, especially early in the year when, when the COVID stuff was so rampant and you just didn't know what to expect that we really, really had to, and I hate to say it, but cliche, take everything day by day. And I, I can think in my head what we've been through, but I haven't, I really haven't had a chance to process it. And I don't think the girls have either. And, and that's sort of by design that we didn't want to because we didn't want to take our eyes off of what the goal was. And we knew that we were getting hit every which way with, with everything that was happening to us. And like you said, it would have been easy for us to start looking at that stuff and letting it affect us and let it, let it take us down and let it lower our expectations. But we made it a point that we were just gonna show up every day, deal with whatever gets thrown at us, get better, and then we're gonna do it again tomorrow. And we're going to deal with whatever gets thrown at us and we're going to get better. And I think when this season's over, you know, I'm, I'm probably going to sit down one day, whenever it is. And, you know, I'll, I'll get some time where I'm alone and I'm probably going to cry. And I'm going to think about everything and I, it'll hit me what those girls have dealt with and how hard and challenging that was. And the, the good side of it is it's going to prepare them for what they face in life. And that's what this thing is really all about. You know, win or lose on the basketball court, the lessons that you learn from being part of a team and what you have to go through as far as a season long of anything, you know, it makes you a, a lot better and more prepared for what comes at you when you leave this place. And so our girls have been able to do that and it's going to set their futures up really brightly, but um, doesn't take away the, the fact that I'm, I'm really proud of, of how they've dealt with everything that's been sent at them. Well, Coach, you have one more day to prepare, and then you guys get to go fight for a trip to Dayton on Saturday. Good luck to you. We'll be rooting for you. And hopefully you can pack your bags and we can have an episode 10 talking about a trip to Dayton. I want to go buy a new suit, so let's win this thing on Saturday so I can go shopping. Coach Fi hashtag Coach Fish needs a new suit. That's right, like baby. All, All right, Coach, Anthony, we'll I appreciate it, man. Have a good night. I hope we're talking again next week.